All right, in today's VOD session, we're going to be talking about the round five invasion control between LAG and Atlanta phase. This was a close one here and probably should have gone in the favor of LAG. So I'll go in, break it down. We'll take a full glance at it and see what went wrong for LAG in this round specifically. Let's get right into it. So to start off here, obviously, we're going into round five. LAG is on the offensive side. And what they're going to try and do is basically a default B-sided break, but also going to have Diamond Con here play towards cafe area. What he's trying to do here basically basically is making sure that he has this B Dom covered for his team. But what we can also do here is going to try and sound whore anyone that might be going towards this A street over here, or even pushing through into cafe. And he's playing a nice corner here so that they really have to hard clear him. And they're really not going to be expecting someone to be slow playing inside this cafe alone like this. So what he's doing is making sure that he's holding this for his team. So they only have to worry about their B side while they're capping this point. So honestly, I actually do really like this break and how they're going to end up doing this uh, as you see here he's going to stay in this corner what they have here is two people on the point capping and they also have number two helping out towards the middle side of the map really holding their pinch so all these guys on the point have to do is make sure they have their forward push here towards the front dvd and that's what they do so they starting to cap this point as you'll see here number four diamond con he's looking for these different routes that they might be taking towards this a side they do get a kill on this b side but what uh diamond con here is he i think he hears number eight here that's what i'm going to assume he hears number eight pushing through or he's just taking a timing knowing it's a possibility that he could catch someone who might have pushed through towards this a street knowing that you know once they got these kills toward the b side that anyone towards the a side on defense might be trying to take some space here regardless if he does hand harm whatever it's a good play that he's able to get this kill as like you know a lurker towards this a site and what he's able to do here is because he's able to get this kill on number eight that kind of splits the defense in what they need to do on the map you know once phase sees that lag gets a kill towards this a side and can get on this point they have a decision to make you know they already got a kill and are hopping on this b point the last two guys are towards this b side you know if phase doesn't get these kills towards the b side over here the b site might be completely chalked you already have a guy on lag capping the point for the a side so you really have to work quickly on what you want to do to really salvage this round on the defense with this break because unfortunately especially on control break offs are just such a huge huge part of the map you know one two or three down can completely shift how the enemy team might be playing the round and it can really make sure that you're playing off the back foot the entire time so having that bad break off can really set you off especially when you're on the defensive side so you see here once diamond Con gets this kill he has the free reign to get onto the a point that also gives free reign for fame to push through this mid cut and try and activate on this side of the map too towards middle he tries to take the timing to get inside the mannequin unfortunately he turns around and number five is able to catch him. You know, if number five doesn't turn around, big play out of Draza for actually picking it up. Uh, so he gets that kill, but unfortunately, it's still a really weird situation for the phase side because of number four on this A site already capping the point for them. Assault gets another kill treehouse, which is big. And you see phase here as they're spawning back as they need to decide what they want to do off this spawn. You know, you see their arrows. They're trying to make a decision on what they want to do. They're going back and forth because they want to decide, you know, what do we do? Do we play for this guy A? and basically chalk B up? Or do we try and hit B once more and send one guy towards this A side, try and see if he can clear them, and then we can win the round that way if we do get the guys off B? But you know, it's a really hard decision, and you definitely want to get this guy off the A point, because if he lives, the round is just going to be really, really hard uh, for phase. And as you see here, Assault, really good play for picking up this mid cut. He knows that once, you know, Fame died over here towards mid, that it's a possibility that this guy could have hit towards their mid cut. That's exactly what he does, and he picks this up uh, right away, you know, while he's capping the points. So big pay out of salt here, making sure that he gets this. They're also, you know, going to be spawning towards this ice cream side. They're spawning close. That's just what happens on invasion. You're basically guaranteed a B cap, and then you're just going to try and focus your attention towards the A site. But the only thing with the A site here is it's just really hard to cap because of how far you end up spawning out on this offensive side. So think of it as like raid control. It would be really easy to get that ring point off the break, but you know, getting that second point wasn't as easy all the time. So as you see here, phase, they try and just send one guy towards the B site. Maybe he can get a kill if this guy's not watching the mid cut. Unfortunately, Draza doesn't get a kill, but the rest of these guys off spawn are gonna play for Diamond Con on the A point. I think that's a smart decision. You pretty much have to kill this guy if you want a chance in this round. So that's what they do. They just send bodies towards A point, number six and number eight teamwork him. And now they know that 
their area is cleared towards this A side. So now they can just play a standard default, regular A point defense uh, like this. So unfortunately, they did get the cap pretty early. So for phase, they have to play this defense pretty conservatively, just making sure that they actually, you know, fully setting up. If they just get a three or four down, try and settle everything out, they can try and start pushing back up towards the map. And as I was talking about before in the cutting the map video, as soon as you're able to get, you know, some waves in, you can instantly start cutting the map, you know, places towards AS and D on this tank, you know, on the B point and literally just trap them uh, by holding this area of the map. You know, they're going to spawn towards this back ice cream area. So you can really contain them that way, but you really need to do the work first to actually get those kills. So let's see what happens here off of this point cap for LEG. So as you see, LEG just taking their time. There's no reason for them to rush right now. All they have to do is get some information on what Atlanta is doing on this defense, try and pick some people apart. As you see, Estriel, huge kill on Draza back here. This is a really nice kill because what they can do here is they can start activating off this. And when I say activate, I mean, you know, take this space with those kills, make yourself a distraction for the rest of the team so that other players on your team can start taking some space towards the front side of the point here. You know, after getting this kill on the flank that means they have to drive their attention towards uh, the flank over here and you know they're not having as much attention towards the front side as you see here even number five spawns out for this so what they're able to do here is because they got that kill they're able to push through towards gas block this spawn make sure phase is spawning out over here so that they have numbers while they're trying to converge onto this a point from both sides so as you see this is a really crucial part of the round right here number three and mannequin i have no idea how he wins this it must have just been a really weird timing with Selium here in this corner. He gets this kill mannequin and that's just one of the biggest kills that you can get for LAG. If you can get this kill mannequin, that means this entire area is compromised for phase. They already know that one guy is towards this back gas area and they probably know that one guy is towards the front side of the point. So what that estrial kill here does is just it creates even more chaos for the LAG side. They already have to worry about this guy back gas. I believe Simp get this kill or Draza actually helps with the trade even though he spawned out. He was able to wrap directly directly to gas to help out this kill. But once again, the chaos ensues because number three is able to sight live mannequin. He's driving the attention of all of these phase players. Look at number six, look at number five, look at number seven. They're all watching these areas of where this guy can exit out towards his laundry area. So they're really focused on this guy mannequin. But you know, what this opens up here is Diamond Con front side of point, getting that first kill, getting a huge second kill on simp. That creates even more chaos. So because number three was able to win this gunfight in mannequin, it drove the attention away from the front side point. Diamond Con is able to make a play off of that. Huge play by Diamond Con. He's even able to get some help from his team because number eight, you know, Selium was spawning out here after that kill. He has to look towards, you know, towards his B side in case they're running up towards his B street. So after Diamond Con gets that second kill and they see Selium shoot, towards this B street side. That allows, you know, number three and number two to focus towards number eight. Number three, Estro gets that kill. And then Diamond Con, you know, still solo, is able to get this pistol kill on a BZ. Huge three piece out of Diamond Con. So four down situation, you know that phase is spawning in this back gas area. Now what you have to do is start getting on point and watching these crosses for your team, making sure that no one of your enforcements for phase can get towards this point. So let's see what happens here for LAG. They get that four down, they're starting to gravitate towards the side. As you see here, these three guys can't start crossing towards the point yet, simply because, you know, they're spawning back gas here phases and they can just pick up the cross instantly. So they can get some really free kills. So what they have to do is just play another wave. They already have Diamond Con on the point stopping time. So as you see Fame here, front cafe, he's watching the cross, making sure they can't get towards the point. And what happens here is a Solt's able to get a huge nade onto this truck here. He blows up Selium and Draza who are holding that cross for the phase team. And at this point, in my opinion, you need to take that risk to get towards the point and help out Diamond Con. You get those first two kills, huge two kills. In my opinion, knowing that those two kills happen towards this area of the map, you just need to child the other angle that they could be holding the cross over here, number six is. Child that together with your team and start getting towards this point. I think with that two down, you really need to make sure that you're trying to at least gravitate towards towards the point here and you even get a third kill. Estro gets another kill on Simp, three down. Instantly, we should be trying to get to this point to help out Diamond Con over here. As you see here, a BZ last live, he's gonna try and get this trade on Ezreal inside laundry. But at this point, you know, LEG should already be getting towards this point. You know, leave Estriel out to get some kills, but number two and number one for sure should be getting towards the point. You know, for 
my money for what it's worth, you know, number two fame is watching this B-Dom door, thinking that it's a possibility that somebody could be flanking it. You know, the last guy alive could be flanking B-Dom. But in my opinion, you know, if this guy was going to go around and hit this, by the time that you were able to get those three kills, you know, you could have already been out and going towards this A point, and this guy could have just been left useless towards this B-Dom area. You know, we're trying to play for a kill that doesn't really need to be played for, in my opinion, if you were to just instantly hit towards this. You know, if we think a guy is towards the middle of the map here and we're trying to play for him, you know, in my opinion, you just have a better chance of just, you know, just making him useless, getting to the point, not worrying about him. You know, if he's going to take that route, let him take that route. You're already getting to the point. He can't kill you anyways, and you're already just going to be stacking with your team. You know, if he wants to take the longer route to go through towards P1 and try and flank that way, you know, let him do that. We'll cap the point. We'll win the round and get this to a game four. But unfortunately, what happens here, you know, Estrell does get traded out. He was one shot. You know, that's just going to happen when he's just getting pushed up like that. It's just going to be a trade. You know, nothing you can do about that. But unfortunately, they only get two people to start stacking this. And, you know, it's still salvageable. Fame does get the trade on a BZ. So all he needs to do at this point is keep watching the cross like he was doing before from gas to the eight point. All he needs to do is basically get one kill. You know, with this amount of time left with the ticks, they're about to get the second one. They're double capping. Look where number seven and number eight are. He needs to get this kill on draws on number five. If he doesn't, you know, there is a chance that they can get back onto the point with number eight trying to help him over here. So as you'll see here, unfortunately, Fame does not get the kill on Draza, and that's just going to open up everything. He's going to get back down from those shots. That allows Selium to slide over and, and try and get help towards this point, you know, as these guys are about to cap it. Look how close it is. Unfortunate for them that they don't cap this. And so he's going to be able to get traded out from number seven here. So unfortunately, it just turns into a two 2v2 on point here and FaZe is able to get these kills. The rest of the guys converge onto the point. They're able to stop the cap and they end up saving their round here. They get those kills. They get a four down. They know they're all spawning back ice cream. So as you see here, they're able to get pushed up on the map. Like I was saying before, once they get a four down, you know where they're spawning. You can start getting some information by pushing up and taking some space on the map. As you see here, LEG gets some trades over towards the side. They're just pulling out. And in my opinion, you know, just keep playing this live. You're up 21 to 12. There should be no way that you guys lose this round if you guys play this together and start taking some chows. In my opinion, 21 to 12, this is a time where you just have to work together and work fast. You know, you really want to be making sure that you're just trading with each other because all you need to do is just keep going one for one. You're up nine lives in this point. In my opinion, what you need to do is just keep going together, keep chowing together, making sure you're going one for one. And this is a situation where I think it really just goes and turns for the worst for LEG. In my opinion, they're trying to hit out this beast street but they're just taking a little bit too much time here they're trying to look for all these people towards this b side and they just get stuffed so in that point you know okay it didn't work the first time we're still up six lives let's try and do something different you know at that point let's just try and work the middle area of the map work the a street you know if we do go the b side once we don't try and hit it again because you know let's just make them useless if they're going to try and play towards blue here but in my opinion with that type of live lead you can still put pressure on the point you only need just a little bit of a tick left but what they're trying to do here is to try to work this blue area of the map you see the strategy they're trying to get to control of this blue area get some kills here maybe spawn them behind here and then just start you know cutting towards the a point similar to how they did earlier in the round but unfortunately though phase is just stuffing them towards this b side and at this point you know look at the players on the leg side it looks like they're trying to wait for each other here and do something together and you know they're starting to get these trades but they're still trying to do the same thing they're trying to look for selling in blue they're not trying to take that initiative and actually take those challenges you know in my opinion like i said before with that live lead up nine lives you're taking challenge you're doing something together but being quick on it you just need to be quicker and unfortunately you know cell does live up here but i feel like they were just focusing him too much here blue you know in my opinion just lead him be at blue make him useless over there work in other area of the map and that's what you see them start doing number three and number four are going to be working towards this a street they get this first kill on draza but unfortunately number six gets that information from draza he's going to chow out get another kill here and they get the three down as you see here only 20 seconds remaining on the phase side they know that they basically just have to hit the point from the front side so all they need to do is make sure that they're watching the a street crosses as you see here they're just huddled up around here watching these crosses they have one guy number eight watching this mid cut area they know that they can't go fully around once again so unfortunately for lag in this situation there's just not enough time for them to get on point they know they have to battle these cross gunfights unfortunately it's just super easy for phase to focus on this because they know they have to go front side point here so definitely in my opinion gravitating towards you know the middle and a street area of the map 
would have probably been more beneficial. But you know, it's all hindsight. You know, it doesn't matter if they end up just capping the point when they could have. But unfortunately, LAG does not win this round. They definitely could have won this round, though. They've really been impressing me just in general in matches. So I hope they keep that level of play up. You know, they are surprising some teams. A lot of them were being written off at the start of the season. You know, my boy Diamond Khan, I always got some respect for him. Love working with him in Cold War and uh, definitely want to see him do well in the league. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this VOD session and I'll see you guys in the next one.